<laughs> ah, ta -da! Okay, welcome everybody. Let me take off my nerd glasses. It's Sharon from Accidental Art Maker. Happy Sunday afternoon. I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I've been a little under the weather, but I'm coming out of it. I had a great morning this morning. If you're on my Facebook page, you'll see I posted, um, I shared a link to uh, uh, Junk and Craft Treasures, a woman by an artist by the name of Melissa runs that page. And she showcased some art that she uh, created using IOD molds this morning. And she was uh, uh, generous enough to invite me onto the, sh not onto the show, but to share the link to my website and comment and answer questions and things like that. I haven't done anything like that before. So it was super duper fun. And Melissa, if you're watching, thank you very much again for uh, bringing me on board. Okay, so if you are just joining, uh, welcome. My name is Sharon. I'm from the, I am the accidental art maker. <laughs> and I have been um, up cycling furniture and creating home decor for over 10 years now. Main focus has been furniture, but I've gotten into home decor the last couple of years. So lots of fun doing that. I'm an IOD stockist, uh, Iron Orchid Designs, uh, DIY paint, and as of most recently, made by Marley decoupage paper. So all of those things are tons of fun together. And um, if you're watching, please let me know where you're watching from. Say hi. Uh, if you're catching me on the replay, hashtag replay, jump on in and say hello. Today's show is to share with you the new brushes that I just got yesterday that have been on a very long journey <laughs> um, from Debbie's DIY paint. So there's five new brushes. I'm going to show them to you here in person. And hey, Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Guess what I got, Amanda? Guess what I got, Amanda? Or did you get Firestarter? You got Firestarter. So I got these for you, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda's watching everybody. Um, hey, Amanda. Yeah, so Amanda, I got your paint yesterday, but I didn't, didn't get it over to you, obviously. Um, but I've got it here for you, so I'll get it to you sometime this week. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so Amanda got her brushes yesterday. Hopefully you're liking them. Um, there are five brand new brushes um, from Debbie's DIY. And um, and they're beautiful. They definitely smell like they just came out of the factory. And when you first open them up, they very much have like a very strong um, scent to them. Uh, uh, but, but the smell goes away after you take it out of the plastic. The other thing too, I was a little bit concerned when I opened them is that the plastic wrap had them like kind of really tight like this, but as soon as I took a plastic wrap up, it expanded into this beautiful brush. So um, I've used a variety of art brushes from cheap to expensive over the years. I'm super excited to try these today with you guys um, here watching. Um, I, ha I haven't felt bristles like this before. And so I'm a little bit nervous to try these with you guys watching for the first time, but I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be fine. I think if anything, um, it's going to be really beautiful. I can't stop touching them. It's uh, addictive. I may not want to paint with them. <laughs> okay. I'm going to quick take you through a quick tour of these brushes before I dive in here. Um, let me get over here. I'm set up on my screen here to share. Okay. So let's, uh, can I blow this up so that it's just, yes, I can. Okay, cool. All right. So Amanda, you already know all these things, but I'm going to um, take our friends through it here. If you're new to these brushes. So these went on pre-sale back in December, December. And, and like I said, they had a long journey to end up here in our hands. And um, Debbie from DIY has been extremely patient. At least the she's presented herself as very patient um, and keeping all the stock as pretty calm because we had pre-sales. A lot of people pre-ordered these 
And a lot of those people, rightly so, were asking for a long time, where are my brushes? So if you're watching this and you're one of my customers who bought the pre-sales, like Amanda, thank you very much for your patience as these came over here. I think they're going to be worth it. Um, we'll find out today. So um, let me show you these brushes. So this is the smoothie. The smoothie is for blending. So if you know DIY and you watch Debbie, you know she loves to blend. It's one of her things she loves to do. Um, I can tell you holding this in my hand and pretending I was painting, it was very comfortable to do so. I'm really curious to see uh, what happens when I actually dip it in some paint. Okay, the multitasker is the most expensive brush, but it is a lot of bristle. It is very dense. This looks like the kind of paintbrush you could pass on down to the next generation. It looks and feels very tough and resilient. Um, it is going to, I, I'm kind of hesitant to use it today because I, it, it, I can tell from looking at it, it will hold a lot of product. Um, and I just have a small desk to paint, so maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, but it's the kind of thing where um, like, uh, like big bureaus, big pieces of furniture or something that you know is gonna take a lot of paint. Um, to complete. All right. And then we've got the perfectionist. And this little doll of a brush has a very pointy tip. It's going to be great for details um, and getting into nooks and crannies. Um, you know, like see how long the brush is right there. So you'll be able to like stick that up into like that little hard to reach area of a bureau or a desk or a mirror or any hard to reach places and, and get in there as well as fill in all the crevices with this little brush right here, the perfectionist. After the perfectionist, we have the feather. So this is the one I am most curious to try out. Um, I have a very, I'm very heavy handed when I paint, like I really get in there with the paintbrush for some reason. I feel like, you know, like I need to like, you know, I don't know, consummate a relationship between the furniture and the paintbrush with, you know, like that's how like I really get in there. But this is going to really um, make me very present in my painting. Um, it is meant to, I, I, I have, I get a lot of paintbrush marks when I paint and I had to remind myself to be gentle. And I think this paintbrush is going to aid in that goal of mine um, to have a light touch, get the paint on. I don't have to like dig it on in into the, into the, my surface of whatever I'm painting. Okay. And last but not least, this cute little guy right here called the little dipper um, fits in the sample jar. I'm going to be starting with that one this morning because I'm going to be dipping it into my sample jar so that we can check out um, how it does in there. Um, so those are the five brushes. I'm going to come back here. Um, what does Amanda say about the brushes? They do feel like makeup brushes, don't they? They do. And they're a very pretty color. I don't know if you could see, it's really hard to tell, but they're like this beautiful turquoise color. Um, I don't know if that helps at all against my pale white skin, but it's this, they're these beautiful, beautiful color. So this is the little dipper right here. And this is the one I'm going to start with. So I'm going to move my brushes out of the way and move my camera around. I'm going to try not to knock anything over today. Like I've done on my last several uh, lives. Always fun and entertaining. And look at this cute box I got here, by the way. I got that from my local antique store. I started stamping it with La Capania, um, but I'm not done with it yet. But it's a uh, it's great, it's this great little, oh look, there's a little goodies inside of it. I forgot all about that. <laughs> That's why it's so heavy. All right, let me push this out of the way here. Okay, and I'm gonna move my camera. The color does it for you, the color of the brushes, Kim. Yeah, because the color is, it just screams, I don't know. I always love that color. It always makes me think uh, creativity. Okay, so this is, I'm going to point this, get this a little bit different angle here. It's not important for me to be on camera. 
Okay, so I've got a uh, mermaid tail. And I've got little dipper here. Let's bring this in. So I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna paint the surface down here with a uh, mermaid's tail. It's actually very close to the color. The brush is darker than that, but it's pretty. Um, I've also got up here some blue iris, petticoat pink, cherry pit, and I got these. I couldn't resist getting this because of its name, Firestarter. I thought that was really cool. And then I got Gypsy Green and Liquid Sunshine. We could all use that here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, don't know where you guys are, but that's what we've got going on here. Okay, so let's try not to knock anything over here. So this is my uh, mermaid tail. I've got my water bottle here if I need it. And I've got a paper plate behind me uh, in case I want to pour stuff out on a plate and start painting it. So here we go. It's, it fits in here perfectly. Um, I got this old desk off of Bind. I think it's on its side in case you're wondering and trying to get oriented here. But it's on its side. And it is, it has seen better days, but I think someone put it together with love and now it needs some more. Love. It has like this varnish on, on it that I'm um, crossing my fingers. It's not like some ancient varnish, varnish that will soak through here. Okay, so brush is doing great so far. It's beautifully into the jar and it's really just like butter. It's like the Saturday Night Live skit, if you guys ever watched that. It's like butter. It is pretty easy. Let's see here. If you didn't watch uh, uh, Melissa Young's uh, that's not her last name. I don't know why I said, but anyways, I'll find a link and put it up there for you guys. But I was on a live. If you go to my page on Facebook and you look for some posts from this morning, you'll see I posted a live from um, uh, Junk and Craft Treasures. I think I'm saying it right. And there might be a discount code on there for somebody's site that you know. All right, this is just going great. All right, let's move this this way. All right, I love the color. I love the brushes. I love painting furniture. I mean, how could today get any better? Looks like some cold champagne showed up here with a bartender to make me some French 75s. All right, that's just, I love this. You can see I'm trying, like, it's just my tendency to like push down really hard, but I don't know, there's something in here kind of restraining me from doing that. Let's paint this down here. So easy, so beautiful. All right, let's see what happens when I do this. That's pretty straightforward. It's a really pretty blue. Okay, let's um, let's paint up here. Let me move this. Okay. Ah, Kim knows what a French seventy-five is. It's really good, isn't it? <laughs> Kim, I went out um, a few weeks ago with a friend of mine, kind of like a new friend. But like we hit it off really well, pretty fast. And uh, we went to a painting class together. And then we went out to like the only open place in this little town that I live. And I had French 75s and karaoke was going on that night. And let's just say I had some fun singing some CCR <laughs> and some other songs I don't remember because French 75. All right. This 
going on super easy. I love this color. Mermaid's tail. If you guys um, are into IOD products, but you haven't heard of the IOD Creative Tribe, all right, there's my first, my first little bristle came out, but that's kind of normal when you first start with a brush. But anyways, on there's a Facebook tribe called Facebook group called Create IOD Creative Tribe. And a while back there was a woman on there and she I don't remember what kind of paint or anything she used. She used uh, some IOD products. And I swear her desk looked like it was made for uh, a beautiful mermaid or an octopus or some kind of under under the sea creature. Look at that. Just gliding on. All right. Let's get a little bit closer here. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, Kim. It was too much fun. It's kind of fun you and I would have if we ever met in person. <laughs> All right, let's get in here. And this is one looking cranny. I'll put the shelf, I mean, not the shelf, this desk right side up in just a minute. I wanted to paint uh, this way first because I wanted to get in these hard to reach places with this brush. This brush right here could paint this whole desk. Honestly, I don't even know if I need to use the other ones, but maybe I'll save the other ones for another demo for um, a piece of furniture or a project that's more fitting for it. But this this brush is just awesome. Let's get in here. Get this area here and then I'm gonna flip it over. Right, so it's right side up. <clears throat> but you know what something else I'm realizing about this is um I don't know if it's the paint or the brush, but I haven't used I haven't added any water yet. Like it doesn't feel like the paint's drying up super fast on me, like it sometimes can feel. Let's see here. Yeah, it's getting in all the nooks and crannies. I don't have to shove down really hard to get good coverage. At least that's kind of the way I've always felt I've had to do, but you no, know, this is like, like I said, it's like butter. All right, I'm gonna flip this desk up. I'm gonna move this back out of the way. And then you guys can see. already worked some did some fixings with it today with a uh, some wood glue hmm. let's see what can I all right I think painting that right there would be good got some good light coming down in this area and then I'll move the uh, camera tripod up so that we can paint the top after we get the sides here. So it is easy for me to say these brushes were worth the wait. I know I had some customers who were, they were new customers to me. And so they, they were a little bit worried when like they weren't getting their uh their brushes and so sorry about that to my new customers who this was your first thing that you ordered from me but i hope you think it was worth the wait too all right i'm gonna come in on this side try not to knock over my water Whoa, 
what has everybody else been up to this weekend? Anybody doing anything fun? Doing any creative projects? Oh yeah, to keep. Oh, this is the desk you told me about, right, Amanda? Amanda and I are in the same buy nothing group. This is going to be really pretty, like with this color on it. And then uh, I'm thinking Bacampagna could be really pretty on this. I don't know. don't know it's like one of those things when you start painting and you see the color dry and then you're getting a better look all right so i got another couple of strays here coming out like i said to be expected when you first get a brush but then when those first few come out it should be all done but one of the things i like painting about painting a piece of furniture is I always start off with one idea in mind and then when, when, by the time I'm done with it, it looks nothing like what I had originally planned. And I think that's part of my creative process is just to get going and come and go in with an idea. Don't think about it too long. And then it's like, uh, as you start working on it, ideas start coming to light as you see kind of form and color come together. All right, so let me lower the camera up a little bit here so you guys can see this bottom part right here. All right, I do have to say, I think this is the best brush I've ever used. And I'm not just saying that because I'm selling them. On my children's education. <laughs> no. Um, I do this, I swear, like, I think this is the best brush I've ever used. And I'm not just saying that. I did not lie to you guys. I might exaggerate, but I won't lie. And I haven't been drinking any French soda bottles today, so alcohol is not part of this. This is just really, I usually, gosh, I'm just, I'm really liking it. The paint's just going on so easy. Debbie had said that these paint that these brushes were designed for her her DIY paint. And um I have to say that's pretty accurate. All right, let's get this here. I mean, this is so easy. This will need definitely need another coat of paint. I could see um molds on these bars right here. What do you guys think? Some kind of molds going up and down the side here would really look pretty. And then if the inside of the, if the inside here where I, where I just painted blue was actually like some maybe some kind of lighter color, you could do molds on the inside here too. Let's see. Wow. Okay, I'm in love. I have to retire all my other brushes. I was, um, I already did, you know, take, there's five brushes and I took five out of the water. I took one of each brush out already for me. So what is left on the website? I've got like about six left of each brush and then I'll do a reorder for sure. But these are no brainer. These are worth the investment. Yep, you're right. The right tools do make it easy. It's also nice for me, like, I don't know, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm fighting the, fighting, like, trying to, like, it's not like an act of labor to get the paint on here. It's just, 
Crazy. All right. Definitely will need two coats though. All right. I'm going to swing, I mean, carefully move the camera over here. I'm going to raise it so you guys can see the top of the desk. You guys like my slippers? <laughs> my little puppy dog slippers? All right, so let me move this up. That's a good view. Yeah, you guys can see okay. All right. I'm going to paint the top up here. I'm not going to paint this slidey drawer because I like painting these. I like painting these different colors, like something that makes it pop out a little bit. And I like painting the sides too. Maybe this one on the inside. Uh, I did not clean it. I see some cobwebs in there. That's all fine. So you can see the top of this desk right here. It has been well loved. And it looks like marker. I cleaned it down. It's got some scratches in it. It's got these little, oh, this is crayon. And then I'm not sure what these little dot things are. It almost looks like somebody did that like knife game, you know, like where you take a knife and you <laughs> go like that. <laughs> All right, so we'll see. We'll see how uh, this does filling in the nooks and crannies. Like I said, it's already got, I know it's gonna need two coats anyways. But we'll paint this. I once had a desk I got from a garage sale. It was like one of those two by pedestal desks. And somebody, I'm guessing it had been in a school somewhere, but somebody had carved on the bottom part of it, like where, you know, nobody can see unless you're on the ground looking up at it. Somebody had carved nothing doing sister on it nothing doing sister and I was like picturing this desk being like at a convent and like the stories you hear about the sisters back in the days when our parents went to you know Catholic school I heard some horror stories from my mom about that but anyways I was picture somebody disagreeing with the in a place where it was safe to do so <laughs> uh. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to take before pictures of this desk. Gosh darn it. I always do that. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Maybe I can go through this and just find some shots of it before I hit it with the paint. Yeah, but this paint's just going on beautifully. It is so easy. I'm not getting any cramps in my hands. getting in there, getting in those nooks and crannies. Let's see up here. Hey, Corrine. Yes, it is a cute desk. I was just uh, telling people on here, I got it off of Buy Nothing. Have you heard of Buy Nothing? I've mentioned it a couple of times on lives and in my emails, if you get my emails. Um, I actually have an email coming up uh, talking about buy nothing again, uh, about how to go and find some furniture on there to, uh, to upcycle and just try your hand on it if you've never done furniture before. Uh, but buy nothing is an awesome 
uh, hyper local Facebook group that you can uh, give things away, find things that you're looking for. Uh, when COVID was hitting, uh, I gave away, I painted and gave away a bunch of desks to students who suddenly had to work at home. So it's like a place where you can like do some good too with the gifts that you're granted with. So for me, it was upcycling furniture and I, um, I had some fun upcycling some desks for sure during COVID and other pieces of furniture. This is looking really pretty. I'm really liking it. I kind of want to paint this now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait. I got to paint the inside and the sides over here. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. I know I said I would go through each of the brushes, but this, this one right here, the little dipper, has been awesome. So, yeah, um, I do have a big piece of um, furniture in my garage. I've actually got two great pieces that I've been holding on to. Um, one is another wide open piece. It's this great, I think they're called a uh, waterfall chest. And it has um, it has a bunch of damage. Like it makes, makes this look brand new. Um, so I'm trying to determine, do I need to like rip stuff off of it or can I cover it up with paint and molds and things like that? Um, or decoupage paper, I'm not sure. Um, so I will definitely be using my brushes on that big piece. And then, then I've got a smaller one. It looks almost like a miniature piano desk I don't, or a table. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like in the shape of a piano, but it's scaled down big time. And it's just like a side table or something you would put next to a sofa or something like that. So I'll be bringing those in here soon and I'll paint with the new brushes. I also had to finish up my chair. If you guys haven't seen my chair, um, let's see there. So I'm still working on that guy, that girl, whatever she is. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have a name yet. Can you, there we go. Can you, there you are. So that is with decoupage paper. That was an orange pleather chair that I've been painting with DIY paint and made by Marley Decoupage and the Morocco paint inlay from IOD. I think it's done and it's time to seal it. Um, but it's like one of those things I keep looking at, <clears throat> looking at and feeling like just one more color, one more color, but you can see it doesn't really need another color. Um, so I got to finish that. And then this table behind here, I just totally forgot about till today. I took stuff off of it and I was like, oh yeah, I never finished painting you. <laughs> so I thought that I've got a few projects lined up and it seems like I've got, um, I've got a bunch of suitcases that um, I got from my local antique store. I'm super eager to do some fun stuff with. So I've got a lot of projects in front of me to do um, that I'll be taking the brushes out and using. You'll see them in uh, future projects moving forward. So. That is, that's about all I've got to show or share with you guys today. Um, check out my site for the brushes. Uh, I'll be ordering more if they run out. But these are just like really, it's just a great little brush. Oh, I should mention, you could like let this um, DIY paint dry on this brush and it'd be fine. But if you use any kind of top coat or, um, um, any kind of sealer, you have to wash these brushes right away. When you get the brushes, you'll see like these are, it's super fine um, bristles right here. I mean, it's really, it's just, they're so soft and smooth. And Debbie has let us know that the top coats, the sealers, just wash them right when you're done using them because with soap, because, um, because they're so fine that, and the sealer is, you know, such a great sealer that um, it just dries up super duper fast and it will ruin your brush. So, um, and it'll be hard to wash out if you let it dry up. Not, not a problem with paint, but yes, a problem with your top coats. So, um, so that's it. I'm going to sign off now. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want a link for a discount on my site, uh, check out my Facebook page and look for a live I participated in this morning with, um, I'm going to, mess it up, Melissa. I'm sorry. I want to say junk and craft treasures. I'm pretty sure that's right, but 
there's a link on there for a little discount for my site for people who were um, watching Melissa's live today. She did an awesome job with a really beautiful butterfly and some home decor today. So check that out. Have a great week. Um, be on the lookout for my emails this week too. I've got some, you know, fun philosophical musings of a midlife woman in there. And um, I will uh, catch you on a live probably sometime during the week. I'll probably just jump on and do something on Facebook. So, all right, guys, I'm going to stop babbling. Have a great day. Great rest of your day.